As the years go on, the conversation relative to the potential cause of climate change and the evidence of the ever-increasing effects of global warming have continued to be at the forefront of worldwide international issues. This seems to be a daunting task with no real solution around the corner. Many experts believe there seems to be a correlation between the number of greenhouse gases and pollution emitted into the atmosphere by energy production requirements as well as industry standards. Unfortunately, when we look over the numbers, this appears to be an issue overwhelmingly in its compounding effects. Currently, all across the world, every single day, we produce an excess of roughly 415 trillion pounds of carbon dioxide emitted into the atmosphere. This does not take into consideration other greenhouse gases, such as that of methane, toxic materials, different forms of pollution and buildup of water vapour caused by rising heat and water levels. Though many green enthusiasts advocate for the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, and the production of greener technologies. The truth is that regardless of how many reductions we instill, the climate change impact has begun an avalanche effect that will continue to increase over future generations. Experts refer to the analogy similar to that of a car driving towards the Grand Canyon. It does not matter how much you reduce the speed of the car, you are still driving towards the Grand Canyon. Experts predict that until we get to 0% emissions, the effects of climate change will only get worse. This has led many industry giants to look towards different efforts of alternative energy that do not require the release of toxic materials or greenhouse gases. However, until a revolutionary green breakthrough is made, the number of greenhouse gas emissions will continue to stay in the red. Researchers and scientists who have been mapping and studying Antarctica have come forward and said they've been noticing some strange warming effects at our poles. This is happening at times they wouldn't expect for example like winter and in places like Antarctica. Recent studies have been released and suggest the planet is warming up. The scientists have said this warming in the Arctic and Antarctica have caused many strange events, one being melting and off-winter problems including permafrost that never refroze this winter and also wildlife deaths. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released the following statement. In our recent report, we stated this year was the second warmest year on record in the Arctic and this came with many problems. Record low winter sea ice has been recorded in parts of the region, as well as increased toxic algae blooms, which are usually a warm water thing and weather changes in the rest of the country. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.